What happens when a small town in Nebraska, dealing with the changing face of rural America, invites an artist to take a deeper look into their untapped resources? The Storefront Theater is a unique event space that transforms Main Street into an outdoor theater. It is a collaboration with the people of Lyons, Nebraska, and the surrounding towns to seamlessly weave art into their downtown. The project begins when the Center for Rural Affairs, a local nonprofit focused on strengthening rural communities, small businesses, and family farms, invites artist Matthew Mazzotta to organize an art project with the people of Lyons. <laughs> The artist first begins the project by asking people from the community to join him in a living room placed on Main Street as a way to provoke discussion and capture stories and ideas from people that might not feel they have anything to contribute to an artwork. During those Main Street discussions, many community members reveal fond memories of a once thriving downtown and express a strong desire to see the downtown become the center of community life once again. One local person points out that one of the buildings is only a storefront, a wall with no building behind it just an empty lot. Upon investigation, it turns out that this location is owned by the City of Lyons and with its support becomes the site of the art project. What has happened in Lyons has happened all across the country. Small town Main Street USA has suffered as goods, services, entertainment, and the jobs that go with them moved away. Buildings that once housed bowling alleys, barber shops, bars, theaters, and restaurants have closed their doors. As rural downtowns lie fallow, what will become of these carefully constructed commercial hubs of the past? Well, that's history for you. That uh, you know, the, they haven't figured out what to do with them all. You know, uh, um, somebody has to come up with an idea. You know. After the storefront was selected as the site of the project, residents of Lyons came forward to bring their diverse and highly skilled talents to the project, shaping the final design, and bringing many other members of the community into the final work of art. Using two hydraulic pump arms, false storefront, and metal awning that can be lowered onto the street to form the support structure of the seating. A screen is pulled in when the theater is open. However, both the seats and the screen disappear between events giving the impression that there is nothing unusual about this downtown. Only word of mouth informs others about Lyons' secret theater. Before the retractable storefront wall is even conceived, another Lyons resident, who says he doesn't mind being called eccentric, enters the story. Oh. Bill Hedges, a local mail carrier, recently retired, and decided to take up his lifelong passion of movie making. When Bill first hears of the project, he expresses interest and gives a tour of his basement that includes a personal movie theater, a recreation of a 1950s coffee shop that features a working jukebox, and a full replica of the interior of the spaceship from the 1960s TV show Lost in Space. So you just flip the appropriate switches and it appears for you. Inertial guidance system. Destroy. I'm Bill Hedges, and I've always been a fan of Lost in Space. Bill's passion for the TV show does not end with what he created in his basement. He also recently bought one of the empty storefronts downtown and turned it into a movie set depicting the spaceship's landing site. While building his movie set, Bill also starts to amass a collection of video-making equipment and explains his idea to write and shoot original science fiction movies and cast his cat as the main actor since he decided that human actors would be too costly and unpredictable in their scheduling. When asked, Bill is more than happy to write and shoot a movie called Decades for the project that has downtown Lyons as its focus. The premise of the 45-minute movie is to explore the history of the downtown from the founding of Lyons to the present day as a way to see where the town has been and where it's going. After it's announced that Bill will shoot his movie, he sets a schedule for shooting each decade. People from Lyons and the surrounding community show up as actors dressed in costumes and with vintage cars that match the time period. Right here, she is uh, you know, going to be an extra, but she's also going to direct the extras. He stages scenes such as the old telephone switchboard operator, conversations in the coffee shop, and the elaborate montage of Saturday nights on Main Street in the 1960s.
Another Lions native who now works in the movie industry hears about the project and comes back to town with his drone to help shoot lions from above. On a warm night in November, the main street of Lyons, which is usually empty after dark, fills with people from the community and beyond for the opening of the storefront theater and the debut of the movie, Decades. As parents, grandparents, and children of all ages gather on Main Street to witness something experimental in their own downtown, they sit side by side to see themselves, their neighbors, and the town they call home reflected so clearly back to them. The storefront theater taps directly into the opportunity that exists in rural towns across America to creatively repurpose and reprogram downtown buildings that once were the backbone of community life into new sites of experience, interaction, and dialogue. The message on this night is simple. People that sit together can dream together.